Let us find out the comparative equilibrium price and allocation for the following cases. So we have already done Pareto efficiency, how to find out the Pareto efficient outcome. We've also talked about Walrus law, that is the value of aggregate excess demand is equal to zero. And uh, if there is an equilibrium, if there are two markets and if there is equilibrium in one market, there will be an equilibrium in the another market. That was an implication of Walrus law. So let me just do the first one. So I hope you know this, that this is an exchange economy and there is no outside income from here. So the value of my endowment is what my income is. The value of your endowment is what your income is. So M1, my income is what? 0 P1 plus 10 P2. That is equal to 10 P2. M2 is 10 P1 plus 0 P2. That is what 10 P1 is. Right? Okay, fair enough. Now let us just assume one of the good as a numerary. Right? So I can assume, let's say, P1 is normalized to 1. So the moment I write P1 as 1, so your income becomes just 10. Right? There are two markets, X and Y. So if you if you find out equilibrium in one market, the equilibrium in the another market is there. Right? Uh, though in some questions you need to check for both of them, but at your level that's fine right now. So checking for equilibrium in the X market. Demand for X by individual 1, demand for X by individual 2 should be equal to the total supply of X. What is the total supply of X? How much of X I have? I'm individual 1, 0. How much of X you have? You are individual 2, 10. So that's the total supply of X. How much of X, uh, sorry, how much of uh, Y I have? 10. How much of y you have? 0. So that's a total supply of y. Right? Okay. I am Cobb Douglas beta. So what are my demand functions? m upon 2p1, m upon 2p2, but my income is m1. So in place of m, I'll be writing m1. This I'm assuming that you could derive this. This we have done in the earlier recordings as well. So please see to that in, I think in micro one recordings. What are your demand functions? You are also Cobb Douglas. So your demand functions are M upon 2P1, M upon 2P2, but in place of M you have M1, uh, sorry, M2. Right. Okay. So what is my demand for X? M1 upon 2P1. What is your demand for X? M2 upon 2P1. Should be equal to the total supply of X, which is 10. Right. What is M1 beta? 10P2 upon 2P1, which is this. What is M2? 10 upon 2. P1 is 1. So it is what? 5P2 plus 5 is equal to 10. So what value of P2 will satisfy this? P2 equals to 1. So P1 you have assumed to be 1. P2 you have got as 1. So the equilibrium price ratio is what? So by Walrus law, why market is in equilibrium? As an exercise, you can also check that. You can also check whether why market is also clearing or not. Also, I have assumed P1 equals to 1 and you may also do it again with P2 equals to 1 as, as an exercise, right? In uh, When you go deeper into few cases, you will find out that you just can't take up anything as a numerary. Hmm. But right now, just for the basic stuff, you should know that uh, you're assuming, let's say P1 equals to 1. That's enough for you. Okay. So you've got P1 and P2 equal to 1. 
right p1 by p2 equals to 1 p1 1 p2 1 you can find out equilibrium allocation also you can find out equilibrium allocation how do you find this out x1 star y1 star is what m1 upon 2p1 m1 upon 2p2 m1 is what 10p2 beta but p2 you have got as 1 so 10 into 1 so let me just write that also 10p2 upon 2p1 10p2 upon 2p2 beta this p1 p2 are both 1 1 now so this will come out to be what 5 5 p2 and p1 are both 1 1 p2 you have got as 1 p1 you have assumed as 1 so you've got this 5 5 what about x2 star y2 star m2 upon 2p1 and m2 upon 2p2 what is m2 m2 is 10 upon 2p1 10 upon 2p2 but beta p1 and p2 are both 1 1 so it is 10 upon 2 10 upon 2 5 5 so equilibrium price ratio is what p1 by p2 1 equilibrium allocation is what for individual 1 5 5 for individual 2 also 5 5 right so this is what for your uh, first case u is equal to u1 is equal to xy u2 is equal to xy what about the second case what about the second case so u1 is equal to xy u2 is equal to min of xy so i am cobb douglas and you guys are uh, perfect complements so u1 is equal to xy u2 is equal to min of xy E1 is 0, 10. E2 is 25. Right. So, what is the total supply of X in the market? Amount of X which I have is 0. Amount of X which you have is 20. So, the total supply of X in the market is 20. Amount of X which, sorry, amount of Y which I have is 10. Amount of Y which you have is 15. So the total supply of Y in the market is 15. Right? So this is one thing. Total supply of Y in the market is 15. Fair enough. Also, your uh, uh, this is a rectangular Redshift box. So the total supply of X is not equal to the total supply of Y as in the earlier case. Uh, so, achha. how will my demand functions look like? I am simple Cobb Douglas. So, m by 2p1 m by 2p2 but it is not m it is m1 it is not m but it is m1 and uh, what about this m upon p1 plus p2 m upon p1 plus p2 your demand functions it is m2 upon p1 plus p2 beta this is assuming that you know how to solve demand functions right m2 upon p1 plus p2 fair enough now let's check for check for x market check for x market first of all Uh, first of all, M1 is what? 0 P1 value of my endowment plus 10 P2. So it is 10 P2. M2 is what? 20 P1 plus 5 P2. That's what it is. 20 P1 plus 5 P2. Assume P1 
equals to 1. Assume P1 is equal to 1. So your M2 will come out to be 20 plus 5P2. Fair enough? Uh, so I've assumed this also. Demand for X by individual 1 plus demand for X by individual 2 should be equal to the total supply of X. Oh, what was total supply of X? 1, 2. 20. Thanks. And uh, what is my demand for X beta? This one. What is your demand for X? This one. So it is M1 upon 2P1 plus M2 upon P1 plus P2 equals to 20. What is M1? M1 is 10P2 upon 2P1. What is M2? Twenty plus five P two upon P one plus P two. Mm -hmm. Now put P one equals to one, so it is ten P two upon two. I'll take one or two steps beta just to solve this. This is 5p2 plus 20 plus 5p2 upon 1 plus p2 equals to 20. You have like this. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So can we do one thing? Da, 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 da. So 5p2 plus 20 plus 5p2 upon 1 plus p2 equals to this. So let me just write this 5p2 into 1 plus p2 plus 20 plus 5p2 is equal to 20 into 1 plus p2. p2 is 5p2 square. Plus 20 p2 so you have what uh, first of all this is 5 p2 square plus this is 10 p2 beta 10 p2 and here you have 20 p2 so coming here it will be minus 10 p2 right minus 10 p2 is this right 10 p2 and okay minus 20 p2 Oh, minus 10 p2 and this 20 and 20 will get cancelled out fair enough so you have 5 p2 square equals to 10 p2 so you have what 1 p2 will go so you have p2 equals to 2 you have p2 equals to 2 that's what it is uh, so one of the p2 will go here and this is this p2 equals to 2 am i clear on this uh, so when p2 is equal to 2 and p1 equals to 1 so price ratio is what 2 price ratio is what 2 so you have got the equilibrium price ratio as uh, p1 by p2 equals to 1 by 2 so the equilibrium price ratio is equal to p1 by p2 which is equal to 1 by 2 that is what my equilibrium price ratio looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about uh, the equilibrium allocation? X1 star, Y1 star is M1 upon 2P1, M1 upon 2P2. What was M1? 10P2. to be one 
and 10 P2 upon 2 P2, right? So it is what? 10 into 2 upon 2 into 1. This you are straight away getting as 5. Huh? So this will come as 10 comma 5. What is x2 star y2 star will look like m2 upon p1 plus p2 m2 is what m2 is 20 plus 5 p2 huh? upon p1 plus p2 20 plus 5 into 2 upon 1 plus 2 so 20 plus 10 that is 30 upon 3 that is equal to 10 so beta x2 star y2 star would be what 10 10 x2 star y2 star is going to be what 10 10 so you have got the equilibrium allocation as what 10 5 comma 10 10 5 comma 10 10 so this is feasible the amount of x i am demanding is 10 amount of x you are demanding is 10 so the total amount of x demanded is 20 and that is what the total supply of x in the economy is right also the amount of x amount of y which i am demanding is 5 amount of y which you are demanding is 10 so the total amount of y which is demanded is 15 and the total supply of y in the economy is also 15 so that's feasible that's right so what I have done is that I have done for the X market as an exercise, you can check for the Y market as well. I have taken P1 as one as an exercise. You can also take P2 as one, right? Thank you, Vita.